So here, notice I've pulled the products, and I'm showing the products table. And if we look at the, uh, let's see, the unit price here. Uh, the unit price looks like it ranges from very expensive items to some more affordable items, um, so on and so forth. In order to, say I want to get a range of items, that let's say the ones that are greater than or equal to $20 and less than uh, $50. Well, well, the, your initial approach may be, uh, let's see, unit price. Uh, let's see, 20 less than or equal to the unit price, and unit price less than or equal to 50. And run that, and notice here. In fact, just to make this easier to see, let's let's select the unit, just the unit price column. So notice all these unit prices are within the range we specified in our where clause. Um, in fact, just to make it more readable. Order by unit price. Run it and see we start at 20. We go on up to $49.30. Uh, SQL also has a, an alternative syntax for this. We can say where uh, the unit price uh, between uh, 20 and 50. And rerun it. Notice we get the same result. Now, now carefully look at the data though because in your head, you may think that uh, 20, the value 20, is not between 20 and 50. But the between operator is inclusive, meaning it also includes these end ranges of 20 and 50. So notice down here, unit price, $20. Well, 20 is, as far as SQL is concerned, it is between 20 and 50. So, so that's between. You can uh, also do it with uh, alphabetical compares um, or lexical graphical to be lexicographical, there we go, <laughs> uh, to be a little bit more um, uh, explicit. So let's select contact name from customers, and let's order by contact name. And we have our A's and our B's, C's. Okay, so then I can say uh, where, uh, let's get everyone from C, less than or equal to contact name, and contact name less than or equal to, uh, let's go C to G, why not? And notice I'm using lowercase here. By default, SQL Server is case insensitive. You can set it up to be case sensitive. But anyway, okay, so so notice we have all the C's and the D's and the da 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 da. And then we get to G's. Look, look, no G's. There are no G's. Let's, let's bump that to EFG H. Run it again. Notice. Now we have G's. Think about what's going on here. We have H, and so, so before let let's say we're back to G. So is George Pips less than or equal to G? Well, in order to be alphabetically less than G, um, it has to have no letters following out here. But George Phipps or Pips does have letters out here. So so G. George Pips is actually greater than just the single character G. Anyway, rerun that and notice George Pips is no longer with us. You can also do the same thing with uh, a between contact name. Uh, yeah, contact name between. Uh, what did I have? C. I think I had C there. Yeah, C. Okay, between C and G. And we receive the same result here. In a future video, I'll show you how to make uh, the, these searches a little bit more powerful. But for now, that, that's all between does. It's, it includes the endpoints as well.